going to be my official unboxing of the Sig Sauer Air P320 X Carry CO2 blowback 4.5 millimeter BB pistol. Unfortunately, today's weather truly sucks. And I guess it could be worse. Currently, it's like 50, 51 degrees again, but it's overcast and it's very, very windy, as you can tell. So I'm going to go with it. Let's open it up. Wow, an instruction manual. Not really. For complete instructions and product information, please visit SigSour.com support owner manual. That's cool, but it would be nice to have an actual owner's manual. Pistol, BBs, a Allen wrench for the CO2 cartridge. To prevent that from going anywhere. There's the pistol. First thoughts. Feels good. Polymer seems nice. Metal slide. Magazine does not drop free. Nice spring weight to the slide. Positive clicks on the safety, although I'm not one who cares for safeties on pistols. Uh, Ambidextrous slide release, really nice. Let's check that trigger. Interesting. Wow. That trigger. Positive and negatives. It is the shortest trigger on a CO2 pistol that I've ever tried. Also, the shortest reset. Unfortunately, it's heavy. And I'm thinking they did that for insurance reasons, maybe. And I guess to keep people from accidentally shooting yourself, since there's no Trigger safety, or dingus as Mac would call it on the trigger. That's a short break. Reset. Break. That's interesting. It's nice that it's really that short. Quite surprising. But that trigger pull weight sucks. Let's see what it is. That trigger pull weight sucks just like this weather. Maybe it'll clean up some with firing. Who knows? Eight pounds, three ounce. That's heavy for a pistol trigger pull. I've pulled heavier on pistols, but. All right, now I got six pounds, 3.8 ounces. Try that one more time. It's 
7 pounds, 4.3 ounces. All right, last time. Ounces. So, our first thoughts on this pistol, um, nice quality, really nice spring weight. It is definitely a totally different design than what I've seen on any CO2 pistol. That trigger is interesting. I can't wait to try it out, shooting it. But that break, being so short, is awesome. The reset, being short, I just wish it wasn't so heavy. So here's some close-ups of the pistol. Has a serial number there. You have your pick rail. They put all the warning labels on the bottom of the frame. That's actually really nice. Has caliber here on the bottom of the trigger guard. Extended beaver. Well, I don't like that it doesn't drop free, but it does come out. Nice positive press. There's that trigger again. Brake. Reset. Brake. Has three dot sights. Green on the front. White on the rear. Does lock back on the last round, it looks like. Pick rail. Does not look like it can be dis disassembled, but I have to look more into that. But I doubt it. Magazine. Seems like a nice quality. It's different that it's plastic. Usually your CO2 magazines that are housed both the CO2 and BBs are generally metal, but this one is plastic. The top portion is metal. Uh, follower here does lock back. Holds 21 BBs. And it looks like you load it from the top here. So let's get this thing over the crony and see what it will do on a 50 degree day. Of course, as you can see, here comes the velocity test. I've loaded up the CO2 into the magazine, which was cool because um, when I did tighten the the piercing screw knob there was no leakage of CO2 and uh, as far as ammunition I'll be using the Hornady Black Diamond BBs Okay, so that was my first shot. Uh, you saw the velocity numbers there. Again, that trigger pull. Awesome being as short as it is. Sucks being as heavy as it is. But we will see how it is in actual shooting. Here comes the accuracy test. Target down range 10 yards. Uh, 
uh, this accuracy, accuracy test is going to be a little different for me because one, I haven't had, or I should say, I've only fired five shots from this pistol so far. So there's no practice, there's no knowing where to aim, anything like that. So it's new for me on this pistol here. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to do a six o'clock hold and we'll just see what the group looks like. And I'm going to fire type 10 shots. I must say that this pistol does have a really strong blowback and um, you know, it states the velocity is three hundred up to three hundred fifty per, uh, feet per second. We did get close to that on this day. Again, it's only fifty degrees, so I can't complain with the velocity that I was getting from the system. Alright, that was 10 shots. I must say that this trigger is close to being the best CO2 pistol trigger I've ever tried. If it wasn't so effing heavy. Let's take a look at the group. Okay, so I had the front sight right here. There's my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to guess the 10th round is either going to be somewhere in here or somewhere in there. I'm gonna say that that's actually, again, you can see how windy it is. That's really good. A little lower than I would like, but I'll take that on a day like today. And the trigger, although does have a short break, by it being so heavy doing this uh, target practice or group makes it kind of difficult. But again, I'll take that. This here is the shooting portion of the video. From the tone, the targets are six, nine, and 13 yards. I'm gonna run a few drills just to see how this pistol runs. If I can keep my targets up. The magazine does seem to be dropping from the pistol now. So, let me put my targets back up for the fourth time and see if I can get started.
target real quick. Man, this weather sucks. So here's the target at six yards. Land on the ground, of course. Here's the one at nine. And here's the one at 13. So I've reloaded all my magazines. This time I'm gonna do basically the same drill or try to, but I'll be aiming for the head box just to see you know, if I can tighten it up a little bit. Let's go take a look at those groups. I think I did not too bad on the five yard target. I'm or six yard target. Again, these were all headshots. Six yards. Nine yards. Not too good. And the 13 yard one. And of course you can see where they were dropping. Right in here. Mainly due to, due to the CO2 gas running out. But those there, 13 yards with this pistol, first day shooting it. Not great, not bad. All right, for this last drill, I'm just gonna basically see how fast I can manipulate this trigger on target. I'm gonna shoot at this five yard target. I'm gonna shoot at the left bullseye next to the head. And just to see how fast I can fire this pistol and how accurate I can be with it uh, at five yards. So let's see what that looks like.
So this is six yards, I'm trying to fire as fast as I can. And I mean, what can I say? I did hit it. My final thoughts the Sig Air P320 X Carry. It has an awesome feel to it, it has an awesome weight, build quality, I would say it's actually excellent. I really like this pistol. I like it so much that I'm going to say go out and buy it. ASAP. Pick up some extra magazines too. I like it that much. The only thing I don't like about it is the trigger pull weight. See, you F that up. If this trigger pull weight was three pounds lighter, this would be, in my personal opinion, the best CO2 BB pistol ever made. The only thing keeping it from that is the trigger pull weight. Now, accuracy on a day like today, you can't complain. The way it shoots, I mean, you have to grab this, you have to shoot this thing to see what I'm talking about. Now, how it's going to stand up to this here, this here, if I can get it up, and this here, time will tell. This right here has a trigger pull on this beat. Now, the feel and the reset, this thing is the, the shortness and the reset on this thing, it cannot be beat. But it's just too damn heavy. Damn, see, I just don't get it. I mean, you're like crosswind. You, you come out with a great idea and then you, you F it up. Three pounds lighter on this trigger pull, this thing could not be touched. But the trigger pull is just too heavy. It really is. I'm, I'm sorry to say it. It's just, it's just too heavy. Anyway, that's it on the SIG P320 X Carry. I thought that was going to be the end of the video. But I just wanted to give you a heads up of what's next for this P320 X Carry. And that will be the mounting of the SIG Air red dot to the slide. Once I do, I will zero the pistol, get some practice rounds in with it, and then do another video comparing this pistol against this pistol, my Omarex Glock 17 Gen 4, which is, uh, hey, this pistol is a tough pistol to beat. So that's what's next. And I hope to see you then.